Alright people, welcome back. More DM Doe commentary. So we have Renny here. No, I'm not. I'm not here. He's here. No, I'm not. <laughs> but, ooh, look. Magic directors. Yay. Yay! So, Renny did a nice chunk of uh, work on the channel this week. Even took over uh, Daily Duels. I think that's like the first time that's ever happened where someone just took over Daily yeah. Duels. I was starving people. I was dying. <laughs> True that. So. And yet, I still don't get no billing. It's still you a mastery channel. I can't get no little at the bottom. No, no. Not, if Stompy can't get none, he can't uh, get none. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. But besides that, All this right. is Magic Specters. So we can watch him play with himself for a little bit, real quick. Yep, Magic Specters. In my opinion, the third best deck. What's the first? Pepe. Yeah. Pepe. Yeah. Still, that deck's just dumb name. Sounds like Mr. Popo's gay cousin. Oh damn. <laughs> Oh, oh, top tier, Pepe, low tier. <laughs> so we have Radcon here at ten forty three, and we got Wolverine twenty eight twenty eight at nine oh, eleven. Did you say Rad Cunt? No, Radcon. Oh, okay, hello. Okay, I was gonna say like, yo, how'd you get that name? <laughs> <laughs> like, admins aren't doing their job right. But, like I said, just play with himself for a second. Yep. So I, yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to give Magic Specter just uh, Third. Pepe is definitely first just because it out resources and pluses off of its plays. Just blew all that smoke all up in my face. <laughs> and oh, yeah. then Cosmos. What? There's Vortex what you, Trooper. Vortex Trooper. What's up with Vortex Trooper? I don't know. Maybe he's running Exodia or something. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Then I'd have to give second to Cosmos just because they're very aggressive. Can. Uh, that non targeting with their bigger monsters is really good. They float really well. And because they're Star Wars. Sure. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Watch the Force Unleashed. This video is sponsored by Folgers and Disney. No. It's oh! Not. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Go watch it. Oh, so, oh he's playing Speedroids. Speed why Roy. the fuck do you put Vortex it's Trooper in there? Oh, that's why. Because it's a wind. Okay. So you could use the effects, shuffle, and then use that thing special and then sink. Yeah, I mean, I guess you've been out. Shuffle two back and then draw two. And. I guess you would uh, even now off of its destruction when it's card destroyed, draw a card. So. But still, I'd rather play Tengu like I've been playing, because at least you could have synced and you would have had another Tengu, so if they had a Dark Hold you or a Gekid you or whatever, then bam. Yep. At least you have the Tengu back. That Tengu was saying my ass. Yeah. Rip a time. So on summon, go ahead and hit him up with that uh, Cyclone, mm -hmm. which destroys the monster. So. Yeah, so you can summon it back with it next turn. It seemed like with this deck, you could put, like, Master or Strick against Magic Specters 2, and they wouldn't really be able to hurt you too much then. If this card's in your grave, when you control no cards, you can special summon this card. You cannot normal summon or set the turn you activate this. Yeah. you already normal summon or set. Yeah, you already normal summon or set the turn you activate this, so you can't summon it back. But, yeah, like I was saying, for Magic Specters, couldn't you, like, use Master or Strick? Wouldn't that help against them? Because you can't tribute monsters, period. And all their cards say tribute on wind mm -hmm. type monsters. So you could use that and it wouldn't hurt you at all while yep. you're not playing like Monarch or something. And it, like, bam, Master of Strict, bitch. Yep. Fuck with me. Can't play none of your stars or traps. Mm -hmm. Fuck with me. And that's really what what, what, what the biting is there because they're all weak as fuck. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen an Arch type dot weak since fucking Mortronics, dude. They weak. Well, they got it extended. Yeah, they, they, yeah. I mean, all of them. Yeah. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. You gotta change it for something. I mean, what were you smoking when you came up with that? I can tell you exactly what happened. They're all were sitting around the building. They went. So, See, I don't use that card anymore. It's a good card. Don't get me wrong. But I just don't use it because normally, fucking, I like my shit in the graveyard. I don't want to banish them. Oh, no, Lusty. I told them. To pick up, hey, hey, y'all remember when that car was five bucks? Y'all remember that shit? And everybody was like, Man, I ain't gonna pick it up. I ain't gonna pick it up. He, Danny was the first one, like, Pick it up, yep. it's gonna go up in price. Everybody's like, No, nah, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. Look at it now. Mm -hmm. Look at it low $44. Low, don't pick it up. <laughs> sucky, I'm... sucky, saw cost less than that. What you talking about, niggas? Because I, I even I underestimated, I didn't know the potential of Pepe, you know, with particular cards missing. Uh, I wasn't sure Pepe was going to really blow it away like it's been doing. But I knew for a fact that Magic Spectre is here. I know. It's all cheap. It's all, all of them are cheap, except for him. Oh, okay. And he's the best one, so. 
True that, but it still doesn't seem like Mass Specter is a too expensive it's deck, too except expensive. that card. Yeah, like I said, if you can get a playset of him, you can easily make the deck. I think the Cannon Trap card's pretty expensive, too, if I remember Probably correctly. like 20 bucks, 20 to 40. But yeah, you could probably pick up the deck for like 200, and I could probably pick up the deck for 200, it's just I don't, I give up, I'm yeah. done. Because <laughs> I, I say... Well, my, my thing about Yu-Gi-Oh, no matter how good you are, you can still get luck sacked. And then you also gotta play him. Yeah. And I knew, I knew Magic Specters were gonna play uh, Luster. Like, Luster is just, he's just so good. Um, I, mean, I guess I have to wait for you to activate it. Like, his his scale popping effect is good. The fact that he's a tuner monster is good. He's they just threw everything at this nigga. Just give him everything. And he goes into uh, Luster. I mean, not Luster. He's Luster. He goes into Ignister. Ign- Ign- I can't say that. Ignister, the one that's supposed to summon the one, and then you can, what, shuffle? Uh, yeah. You can target the pendulum. Not then, yeah, non-target. Yeah, non-target. It's a fucking other Tiramisu, old punk ass, because he did the Cosmos nigga. I'm like, wait a minute, he did target. No, he targets his card. Fuck you, Tiramisu. Damn, man. So that guy got fucked up. He got butt raped. I, I don't know where Speeder would sit on the competitive level, but I just don't know. 2.5, if that. Damn. If that. I honestly think it's a tier 3 deck to me, but if you can build it right, you can make it a 2.5. You build it right. But it's a nice, fun deck. If you want a nice, good synchro deck that's fun to play, play Speeder because it's, it's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. It's hella fun. I said, if I was uh-uh. going to play Magic Spectres, I would take it a totally different route. Everybody's like, oh, Magic Spectres are weak to, like, Cosmos because you can't target their big monsters and they just attack over you. Equip them with the good shit. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen a single Cosmos, I mean, Magic Spectre deck play Moon Mirror Shield. Yeah. Not one. I'm just like, that would be, like, fantastic. True that. Like, Moon Mirror Shield on Magic Spectres, like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I can't attack over it. can't target it. can't be destroyed by Conor. What the fuck do I do to it? True that. Yeah. Shit. Now, see, if I, I would do that to fucking Chitals. I've been saying that for, like, for a cool minute. I didn't need a, this window. Moon Mirror Shield. Bam. Done and done. Yep. GG. It's only special summon once and it's over your shit. So what are they going to do pretty much? <laughs> yeah. I'd say the, the the big problem with that plan is that uh, Storm Mirror Force has been going up in popularity. Oh, and right. Storm Mirror Force can get you. Mm-hmm. And while Storm Mirror Force can get my match specters, all right, match specter go back to my hand. Moon Mirror mm-hmm. Shield. Uh, sure, mm-hmm. I'll pay 500, put them back on the top of my deck, draw it, and then you're in the same situation you were in before. True that. So, unless true you're that. playing Cosmos, where you get rid of, you know, or where storing Mirror Force, you store Mirror Force on a monster's way, and then proceed to OTK me, you know. True it, that. You know, true that. Storm Mirror Force, I think, is like 50 bucks as well. Jesus. Just because it's good against Cosmos, because mm-hmm. the non-targeting go away, and then they float when they're destroyed, so how about I just put you in your hand temporarily? I said, I think that's my big problem with that card, Storm Mirror Force, is that it just puts them away temporarily. Yeah. The monsters aren't gone for good, but if, if you're playing Cosmos, you can spin my monsters away and then OTK, then that's game anyway, so. True that. I mean, again, these Mirror Forces are for certain decks, you know what I'm saying? Like, even that Earth one, I could see against certain decks, it'd be pretty good, mm-hmm. you know? Like I said, I like that soft lock. Yeah. I think that'd be hilarious if mm-hmm. you just come to me like five monsters and I'm just like, True nah. That. Everybody sit down and I ain't touching you. Exactly. I'm gonna leave you I'm alone. I ain't touch you. <laughs> I can see them doing that shit in a burn deck. That'd be a great in a burn deck, like with Ojamas and shit like that. You mm-hmm. know, like they have their two monsters on there. You Ojama trio their ass, and they hit them with that when they try to attack you. Bam! Now you shit face down. Then Ojamas ain't going nowhere, and I'm just gonna burn the crap out of you. Yep. You just sit there Damn. and wait. <laughs> I just gave burn people a good idea. Fuck. <laughs> you know, it made me sick to my stomach to even talk about it when it came to ghost tricks. Mm, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. You know I don't like ghost tricks. Try. Uh, I, I really don't like ghost tricks. That's just a, a, a stall deck, the point of stall. Mm-hmm. I stall because stalling is stalling and stalling is stalling. I'm what you call it. Um, oh, Tempest is actually cheap. I thought it was a higher rarity than that. Damn. Hold All on. right, that is nothing. Moving on. Fucking ghost tricks are like. What's the nigga? In... He's the ghost tricks yeah. are like nail. Uh, ghost tricks are like nail from Dragon Ball Z Budokai Three. Stalling. That's all they do. Damn, look at Rat. He said, good try. <laughs> <laughs> yep, cannot be destroyed. As I say, I mean, I know you can't side out all your back row, but unless you have some Stormy Mirror Forces up in there or something, I would have took them out. <laughs> Not I mean, you technically activated it. It's yeah, just nothing it happened. Nothing. So you just yeah. fizzle and neg. So good try. <laughs> I said, mm-hmm. it seems like the Wolverine's just not ready for the Magic Spectres. And he has a pretty high rating, too. I mean, 9 11 is nothing to scoff at. I'm kind of wondering if he got all the way up here. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. wonder if he got all the way up here on just uh, playing this deck. 
Just speed raids. Mm, doubt it. I yeah. highly doubt it. Because, again, speed raids, you get trashed by a lot of pendulum decks. That's the problem, you know? Mm-hmm. Pendulum decks, you really, you have a problem with. Because you only really can fuck with shit like 5 and higher with your clearing and shit. Pendulum, all I do is pendulum from 4s and... Because you can tribute one Roy Monster or something. Wow. Mm-hmm. This card can be tributes. I'm going to tribute at least one Speed Roy Monster. A Roy Banish, Monster. Roy Monster. Mm-hmm. Banish all spells and traps on the field. Wow. Well, I mean, of course he has Tempest, but yeah. it's just like, wow. Like, never even thought of that. That's an interesting tech. It is. It's just generally Speed Roy Monsters want to use their normal summon. So Ew. it could be a dead draw if you don't have the prepared special summon. Yeah, you might as well scoop it up. All right. Well, we're going to get one more duel in for this video. Yay. All right. Be right back. Okay. All right. We're back. So we have Super Mega Oso. Oso, Oso yeah. Oso? Yeah, Oso. <laughs> At 448. You know, he's ringing the bell, but he has high experience. He's going to get it up. And then we have Master Oz. Wait, is this man using DDDs and TCG? Wow. Does that mean he didn't have <laughs> all the cards? No, he does not have all the cards. We are definitely missing a couple of cards when it comes to DDD. Because I could definitely see DDDs being, you know, an up there, yeah. like, a, like at least a two uh, tier, like 1.5 yeah. or tier 2 deck Hell up yeah. there with like Infernoids just because they're so aggressive and can combo off of each other. And really they well. have so many options. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Options out the butt, dude. Like, so oh really god. If you if you want to do everything, pick this deck up. That's yep. all it does. It does everything. Everything. You know? It was a it was a kind of anti meta deck in the OCG for a little while just because it could run like a uh, deck Devi mm. and uh, an Eradicator which like fucked up uh, Pepe. Right, hell yeah. And as you guys know, Pepe it's similar to how it is in TCG right now where it's the the, the top tier deck in the OCG where they have all the combo pieces right. and all the cards. It's a tier zero deck, mm. uh, at least eighty percent of the meta. God damn. So, <laughs> like you know that uh, your buttholes. Yeah. Mm. You know, you know how we had Burning Abyss at full power with three tour guides, mm-hmm. and they have Beatrice. That's like eight mm-hmm. percent. And you know the Monarchs, that structure deck that we're worried about. That's going to be reckon. Mm-hmm. That's like two percent. God damn! <laughs> so what are they doing to stop it? Yeah. See, the problem is, is that the Pepe deck uh, combines with that Counter Trap Fairy to search for Notice, and, and notice they just triple Notice them. Yeah, I seen Notice it. just yeah. wrecks. Yeah, monarchs. I, I've seen that shit. <laughs> uh, some guy had that shit. He searched out like three notices that first time. I'm like, this is bullshit. <laughs> I would just quit. Honestly, I see him search out all three notices and set all three. I would just quit because no, you're not going to be able to play. You know, <laughs> like please for the love of God, let me have freaking Twin Twister because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to get wrecked. Exactly. Oh right, that's right. He copies the. Mm-hmm. He makes it the same level. They don't really play a lot of uh, performa. Yeah. I think they play like maybe one. Is that they is don't... that supposed to be like you use birth from it with Didi? I have no <laughs> idea. Because it has the wings like him. This is just the De- clan. Is that his English name? The clan, yeah. I think. Yep. So go ahead and fuse. Super mega. Sounds redundant. Super Mega Giga <laughs> <laughs> Hyper <laughs> Omega Super Chocolate Fudge Color. <laughs> I haven't summoned that monster in a cool minute. I haven't played ULXEs in a cool minute. Really? Like I said, every single time I turn around, it seems like the deck's getting hit. And one of the reasons why I stopped playing that deck is because, you know, the consistency of sending all the monsters that need to grave that need to send because the wall chain ban right. got hit. And mm-hmm. now with Rhoda at one, mm-hmm. the consistency's hurt even more. Indirect hit just. Oh, accident, accident, accident. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all they keep doing. They keep just shinning you. Yep. Bah, hit it. Bah, hit it. Bah, hit it. Uh. Said, I'm, I'm going to try Ties of the Brethren as soon as it comes out on DN. Yeah, that card looks pretty nice. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it's a plus one, but at what cost? Yeah. I got to pay 2,000 life points. I can't special summon and I can't get my battle phase. Mm-hmm. But I said, if I have either. Oh, oh Pepe. See, yep, yeah. See, <laughs> If I have Armageddon Knight or uh, Dark Greffel or whatever, the Dark Level 4 Warrior type monster I'm going to play, which I think I'm going to go with Diamond Dude. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's not yeah. a, a lot of other good ones that can help sure me that, out. Yeah, <laughs> and in Diamond Dude, all you, all you get to do is special summon the monsters. You can still you know, conduct a battle phase and special summon. Because mm-hmm. it all it does is activate the effect, which is to special summon the monsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So that's all you do. Like, oh, but I'm never doing this. Just summon these monsters. And I can still fucking special summon. And I'm going to whoop your ass. Yeah. And then try it that way. So if I get one, I have the others. Mm-hmm. Pepe. So Super Mega. He may have that low right now, but he's about to get it up right now. Right. Action Shaman. Action Shaman. Castell. <laughs> so if you can put that one where he gains the life points away. Which they go into all the time, every day. Oh, I mean, mm -hmm. they, this deck takes a lot of burn. Mm -hmm. A lot of burn. I, oh, okay. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and train his effect. So when his monster is destroyed by battle at the end of the uh, battle, he can go ahead and summon it back. I think if this card is sent from the field to a grave, you can add one contract monster for the deck to your hand. Card. Oh, yeah. That contract card. Uh, that they're not, they're not monsters. Uh, but he didn't go back. Exactly, so. but it's just card, though, just in case they, they might come up with a dark contract monster. <laughs> that would be interesting. It would be pretty interesting, you know? So, now if he kills uh, Ark by battle, during at the end of the battle phase, it'll just come right back. Oh, Wavering Eyes. Nice. And this is where this is, gets stupid, and why I said they should hit Wavering Eyes. All because of Plush Fire. Because mm. if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you get to special summon before Mage Monster from your... Uh, hand or deck, mm -hmm. including in the pendulum scale, so wavering eyes. Exactly, yeah, because it's on the field. Yeah, uh -huh. that's another reason why uh, luster is going up in price because luster can destroy plush and then get its effect. Mm -hmm. And I believe they're actually starting to play a uh, doomfire as well. Ah, damn! The doomfire magician who uh, came out as a what a TCG. Uh, what's that kind of card that you get? Everyone gets uh, promo. Yeah, promo. Oh, yeah, that no one played. And then that card, I think that card is up at like ten dollars now. Oh my god! And you can go once per turn. You can discard a card, pop a pendulum scale, and then draw a card. Mm. And you just be like, all right, summon him, discard my trick clown, pop so, my plush fire, draw a card, plush fire, summon trick clown, summon. So, but even that, this deck is just known for just rank fours, rank fours, and and it's it's interesting. That we've always been like rank four is LP, mm -hmm. and it just seems like the more we go through time, it just seems like rank four is more because RP. it's the easiest thing to summon. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. ninety percent of decks, you know, has a base and level four monster. Ninety percent, when you're talking about like a synchro deck or something like that, you know. But ninety percent of decks have a base around four. You know, so that's why they made the rank four pool so good. You know. Yep. So Which like, I'm not mad at, thank God. <laughs> Looks like he might be able to handle it now, again, because he can just go ahead and banish the damage juggler, get him a hat trigger, special summon hat trigger, go for another cast or maybe like a 101, and there goes that arc. Yeah, I'll go for the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, wall, wall, wall. So, God, you were so good. Now you're just mad. <laughs> Remember when 101 came out, and he goes like, oh my God! Oh my, oh my God. God! Limited, ban it! Ban it now! Mm -hmm. Now people are like, oh, 101. Mm -hmm. You're still around? Yeah. Didn't Castell take your job? <laughs> like, take your job? You still have a job? I'm cleaning up after him now. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's some times where I'm a little bit better. I mean, mm -hmm. don't you, you don't want to return it back to extra deck where they can summon it back. Yeah, but I don't want it in the graveyard right, either. Exactly. <laughs> it's the, like bullshit decks like the products <coughs> and shit. I hate that crap. Take their plain code, they get rid of your shit. Plain code, graveyard, boom, boom, boom. Like, fuck you. <laughs> I got mirror. I, I'm still not the biggest fan of mirror. I mean, it's a good effect. I like that effect because no shit defense is weak, especially this day and age. Unless you're like running like super heavy spamerai, you know. Most of the time, your defense is weak as fuck, or at least averaged out, you know. So switch your shit, bam. I said I've just never been blown away by it. I've been seeing decks that play three of it, and I'm like, three, really, mm -hmm. three. I mean, it can save your ass. I can, I can see it saving your ass a couple of times. I really could. You know? I know he has a normal summon this turn. See, he set up a scales pendulum summon, went to Castell, spun back, wavering guys. No, he has not even normal mm -hmm. summon this turn. Look at that. It's just a that. big jerk-off fest. Yep, mm -hmm. and Norden Insta Fusion still at three. Mm -hmm. It's just a big old jerk-off fest. It's still thing. probably hitting Insta Fusion. Waiting for it. 
because it'd be better than hitting those because fusion has more utility and toolbox and if they don't hit it now later on it's gonna cause a problem i can already see it because yeah. it depends on how they want to take it they want to take it like ocg because mm -hmm. we copy ocg then they first hit insta fusion down to one and kept norton but then you know even with one insta fusion norton was still dumb because it's not when it's special summon yeah. on from the it's just special it's the period yeah. so you know hero decks which of course won their nationals would run called hunt it's an mm -hmm. oasis and it's continuing to go stupid with them so um, then they decided to bring Insufusion back up to three and ban Norton, so mm -hmm. no more Norton, which is still fine because you know Insufusion is still a powerful card on a lone stem, but Norton is just what makes it stupid. True that, you know. See, Castillo number two. See, that was supposed to be your one on one, bros. <laughs> supposed to be one Castillo, one on one. All right, so I guess he's just gonna take, uh, he's just gonna take them, the. Uh, Castell and crash it into the arc. So you already switched the yeah, switched yeah. to the mirror. So oh yeah, see? Just bam. Crash hope. Mm-hmm. Take this thirty six to your face, bitch. Pyow. I think it comes out back with zero attack and zero defense. Ah. Yeah, zero attack, zero defense. Uh, so well, that's not Yeah, thing. why do you attack with it, stupid? I don't know, why you why you summoned in attack mode. Because he's stupid. Mm -hmm. Stupid, stupid. And look at that. That DDD guy, Master, he opened up pretty well. I mean, look at that. Now you got gone. nothing. You got that one card. You gonna Shining Draw until you slime? <laughs> shining Draw, dude. <laughs> Imagine niggas could do that in real life. Oh my god. Like everybody had it the one time they could Shining Draw whatever they want to. This game would be more broken. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yep, and the battle phase. Come right back. Should have kind of stalled it away. So you should have cast out of the way, but I guess you want to go ahead and get rid of his card because while he would get burned for a thousand, he would still get the search on. So True that, you know what I'm surprised they haven't done yet? What they haven't made Speed World an actual uh, field spell yet? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't done it. I would have. What did I? What would add an extra game mechanic? Probably because you know in five Ds, you know they were running on Speed World, and then when they got they got Speed Counter every turn, they could use the Speed Counters to do different things. You know, depending on how much they had. That'd be a nice Loki field spell. Like every turn, every every standby phase, it gets a speed counter on it, you know. And then for each speed counter, like uh, like like Waver eyes, you could do something, you know. Like get rid of five speed counters, destroy one face up card in the field, get rid of ten speed counters, uh, destroy one card in the field, get rid of like fifteen to twenty speed counter, draw a card, <laughs> something like that. You do it last that long? I, no, I'm just saying, like mm -hmm. around that premise, that'd be pretty cool. I'm surprised I haven't done that shit. Do it, Konami. And make it so if you're running like synchros or junk, you get two speed counters per turn instead of one. And I said when mm -hmm. they're in the the synchro dimension now, they do the kind of speed action duel. So yeah, they're yeah, riding you're on about that shit. Yeah, they're like Jack, Jack, action. Jack did that shit. He was <laughs> picked up a card and shit. Like the fuck? How do you know what you're doing? <laughs> you just learned about this. Yeah, he's like, I've never done this before, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna show you how it's done. Because he's the king. That's why. That's the one reason why I like that fire that arc five. Jack gets his place as the king. You say my nigga, but Jack's the king. I'm kinda of lost on what's happening now. He contracted that, summoned that. And he's probably gonna attack that so he has more damage, which I assume he did. Okay. So he summoned this. Mm-hmm. This got warning. Mm-hmm. So you attack so he's like, all right, mm -hmm. attacking this, you take 28 because you summoned it in yeah, attack mode. Old, like a dumbass. Like a dumbass. Stupid. And then you're going to pay the 1,000 to summon it back? That's a lot stupid, of life. Stupid, stupid. He's like, your math is wrong. Math is wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know why you took 12. He's zero when he comes back. Mm -hmm. So you can take another 16. That's probably why he fucking did it in time when he probably forgot. He's like, man, these things are so good. No neck. Like, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> come back as zero attack, bitch. Yep. But still come back as a level four. Mm hmm. What's that? Vanilla? Ah, yeah. Painful decision? Mm hmm. That's the card I forgot to tell you that. that uh, what do you call it? The Lord of Red uh, deck. Uh, the Dino one. I forgot to tell you that. That card. <laughs> good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. And then here comes the brother, Nectar. Mm because -hmm. it's just that. They get all of the card effects in your opponent's been in the zone. Uh huh. <laughs> it's like, you know what? I didn't want my scout anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course you didn't. 
Does that mean it like negates the Klee's effect that they can only depend on some of the Klee monsters? Or no, no, that's a condition. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> Paying all these life points. Give it all this shit. Damn. Space time. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yep. You you need a bandage and some ointment. I said, if it, between me, between playing Space Time and playing uh, Great Horn, I think at this point I'd probably play Great Horn. Why? It's because this says when your opponent's... I take the damage, you know? Mm -hmm. I'd rather go ahead and allow you to draw a card as long as I hit more than, what, uh, two monsters or more? Mm -hmm. Which generally you are. I don't mind you drawing as long as I stop your plays and then I push you to the next phase. But you're the one who said you, you don't want to make your opponent draw. <sighs> See... That's just the exchange, you know. It's kind of it's kind of like with uh with Dark Bride. Uh, Is Dark Bride a bad card? No, it's a fine card. It's just you don't want to generally let your opponent draw. Right. But in the exchange, it's kind of worth it. You know, being able to stop all your inherent summons and multiple inherent summons, something that Blackhorn can't do anymore, mm -hmm. and push you to the next phase. Because right now, you know, he's space timed. He's still in his his main phase. He's mm -hmm. still in his main phase. He can still simply go ahead and continue his plays. Mm -hmm. But if I Great Horn you, I would push you to battle phase. Now what? And if you did all that shit in main phase too, I'd push you to end phase. Mm -hmm. Your turn is over. Right. So, like I said, it, now since Blackhorn's got hit, mm -hmm. nerfed, I think Greathorn's pretty good. I think I think Greathorn is fine. And especially when Notice goes down to one, I think it's going to go back up in popularity. I think the only deck that's really playing it right now is, I think, Teller Knights. Ah. Because Teller Knights is trapped on deck mm -hmm. anyway. So exactly. They might as well fuck you up with their Nova and their Greathorn mm -hmm. and exactly. all their shit. You want to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Not today, sorry. <laughs> it's just that Fiendish Train isn't really good right now, so... Tell Knights mm. kind of miss a card there. Oh, no. Damn, Diamond Direwolf. I haven't seen that in a bitch in a long time. Guess it's just a pop background. I'll take that 2000 to your face. Does, can Diamond Dire get rid of Wing Beast? Or, I think it's Wing Beast, too. I think it says Beast Warrior or Wing Beast. Why don't you just too. get rid of the Castell, then you could have kept your Diamond Dire for another pop. Because he didn't want to. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, GG what? That, he summoned Maxi and got the beat down. Yeah, unreal! Wow! No, and then he, he just quit. Laugh. He laughed. He's like, "Yeah, I'm done." Yeah, because he's yeah. eating freaking Pepe. So it's like, "Screw it, I'm done." Like, he's, I don't want to go for games too. He's like, "Screw you, Mr. Popo's brother. I'm good." <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. So there we have it. So uh, thank you, Renny, for joining me for the endo commentary. No, it sucked. So I do. <laughs> Thank you, it's the gate, man. <laughs> thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next week with some more DM Doe commentary. Alright, people, thanks for watching. Peace.